Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you how you can update the GPS app of your digipad and help it improve the efficiency or the enhancement of the GPS configuration. Now once you update this app the GPS configuration is going to get improved and you will get a better signal strength and a better catching ability of the GPS in your digipad. So in case if you are having a spotty GPS connection and if you are having or you are facing any difficulty in the GPS catching of the digipad. In, it may be in any of the apps such as your default iGo maps or even the Google maps which I have shown how you can install. So in case you are having a difficulty in that, you can try and update it via this new app for the GPS for the Digipad. And once it is updated, I think and I hope it will work out and your GPS signal strength will hopefully increase and it will help you give a better signal. So let's just dive in straight ahead and I'll show you how you can download and update the GPS app of your Digipad. So the first thing which you need to do is make sure your digipad is connected to the internet and it is connected to a Wi-Fi network using the Wi-Fi dongle and in case you don't have a Wi-Fi dongle yet I'll leave a link in the description below just go ahead and buy that Wi-Fi dongle. So once your digipad is connected to the internet make sure you open up the Firefox browser in the digipad just go ahead and download the Firefox browser I'll leave a link in the description as well. So once you download the Firefox browser you will be able to install many more apps which I have already shown in the channel and I'm going to bring out many more. So let's just go ahead and click on the Firefox button. So right now I'm going to open up the Firefox browser so that I can download and install the GPS app on the digipad. So once the Firefox browser opens up just click on the URL search bar and type in the following address. Now before I tell you the address of the GPS app I'll just need to remind you once before because I have been seeing that most of the people who are watching my channel are making use of its contents are making use of its information which I am providing in my videos but are still not subscribing to my channel. So I request you kindly do support me by subscribing to my channel don't go away without subscribing and that is going to help me a lot and if my videos or if my information has helped you or enhanced your car life or enhanced the way you look at the digipad then make sure that you do subscribe to my channel that is going to help me a lot and that is going to inspire me to bring out more and more videos so please don't go away without subscribing. And saying after that message, I'll just go ahead and I'll show you how you can download the GPS app for your digipad. So let's just click on the URL search bar and on the URL search bar you need to type in the following address that is bit.ly slash t-r-a-v-e-l-t-e-c-h g-p-s-t-e-s-t so this is the URL address guys that is bit.ly slash travel tech gps test. So once you type in this address just press on the go button and wait for the google drive page to load up on the screen. So as you can see the google drive page has loaded up so once that gets loaded up make sure you see the name as gps test 1.3.2 by travel tech. So this is a newer version of the already existing app in the digipad and uh, you can check the older version whichever you have in the digipad by downloading and installing the manage apps app for digipad now i had shown that app in the previous week how you can install that app manager and the digipad and you can get to see all the system apps and all the third party apps which have installed and even their version also so in case if you are curious about knowing which version of gps test app is there in your digipad just go ahead and download the app manager for digipad i'll leave a link for that also in the description so once you have installed that you can get to see the app version so the newer app version is the 1.3.2 version so let's just go ahead and click on the download button right in the middle of the screen and once the download begins it is going to pop up a window just like this and just click on the just once button right here so once you click on the just once button just scroll down the notification bar and as you can see the download has completed so once the download gets completed just click on the download complete dialog box so now since I have already installed this application on my digipad because of testing reasons now it is asking me to replace the application and uh, even in your digipad also it is going to ask to replace the application because the digipad already has this application but since it's of an older version it is still going to ask you to replace the application so just go ahead and click on the ok button and now as you can see this is the app called as the gps test this app is going to enhance your gps signal strength on the digipad so just go ahead and click on the install button so once the app gets installed i'll just show you how what are the features of those app so now the application has installed so let's go ahead and click on the open button of the gps app 
So right now, as you can see, the GPS app, uh, the stock GPS app of the Digipad has opened, and as you can see, it is three-dimensionally fixed. It is showing the status as 3D fixed, and the accuracy it is showing as it is accurate up to 14 feet. And this is the number of satellites which are connected, and this shows the signal strength of those satellites. And this is, here is the marker which shows the uh, measurement according to which you can decide how strong the signal strength is. That is zero. It's in a red zone that shows that the signal strength is very weak and 10 to 20 is in orange zone it is very low and 20 to 30 is in a yellow range which is like medium range and 30 to 50 is of light green color which is like good but not excellent and 50 to 99 is of the excellent gps signal strength so right now these are uh, i think along 30 to 40 range as you can see the numbers are 46 40 43 44 and that is because most of the uh, outside environment is cloudy right now because of that the gps signal strength is not that accurate but still it is going to going on and as you can see the in view satellites are 14 so 14 satellites are actually in view but out of those in views are 5 satellites so currently your location is being triangulated using 5 satellites so this is the gps app and uh, once you get this you can also click on this button so here it shows the two dimensional uh, direction of your gps status that is in the center it is your gps signal or your gps car and the satellites are surrounding your car right now so if you just click on this button it is, it is going to show you the different status or the di uh, different types of the satellites and its various locations now I, I had already shown this particular app in one of my previous videos where i had shown you how you can download and install the go launcher app for the digipad now in that go launcher app you could get access to this gps test app and in that also i had given a detail regarding this app but now again i'm going to show you because this is a new update and if I just click on the world map button and right now as you can see it is showing the location of my car as India and it is showing the location of the sun as well so that it, you know that where is the daytime and where is the night time going on and right now here is the current speed of the car it is showing as zero because my car is stationary and this is the current altitude as measured by the GPS application and here is a time which is also showing the current UTC date and UTC time so these are one of the uh, several, several features and if you just go ahead and click on the lot top left corner there is a HUD mode also and there is a settings plus settings option also so if you just click on the HUD mode it is going to ask you to upgrade the application but that shouldn't uh, I don't think you should go ahead in that you can go to settings also where there are some of the settings also available where you can change some of the settings you can change the altitude units or change the heading units there are so many options that are also available in this particular app and right now there are several features which are actually premium and here is a feature which i think you should it will be useful for you because there is a daytime and a nighttime feature where you can if you just click on the night button it is going to go into the night mode and the screen will turn red and this is going to help you look better on the digipad if, whenever you are watching it at night so let's just keep it at daytime and let's just go back to your original gps data uh, visual so this is the gps data visual guys this is the new gps update for your digipad and i think this is going to help you uh, get a proper signal get an enhanced signal for your digipad than it used to have previously so i think you guys can go ahead and actually install this so let's just head back and see uh, what the gps signal strength looks like and how you can use it on your digipad so right now i just installed the app using the firefox browser so it happens many of the cases that it happens in many of the digipads that in Firefox browser many of you will face a parsing error while downloading and installing this app so just in case you face a parsing error make sure you go ahead and download the app using your laptop method the method which I have shown in so many of my previous videos as well if you haven't watched them just go back and watch them and I have shown in detail regarding how you can download and install apps using the laptop or you can also use the smartphone or your own smartphone as well so you can download the app on the smartphone and sideload it on the digipad so if you don't know regarding how to do that or if you are a new user to my channel and are new to this kind of stuff just go and watch uh, some of my previous videos of my last week and you will get to know how you can download and install using the smartphone or your laptop and i have made a dedicated video also regarding how you can uh, disable the parsing error or how you can overcome the parsing error that link will also be given in the description so in case if you download uh, through the firefox browser in your digipad and you face a parsing error you need not worry you can just go ahead and download using the laptop method and you can ease or install it easily so now as you saw i just uploaded my gps app and right now i'm going to open up the default navigation that is the igo navigation and i'm going to show you how well it catches the connection how well it gets the gps signal and how good it is working compared to the older version so the igo maps is going to take some time to load because it's a stock app and usually it does take some time because it takes a lot of memory to open up so let's just wait for the igo maps to open up and i'll show you the gps accuracy 
so as you can see the gps position regain has come even before the screen screen came out so that shows the app is working really well so that you know that the gps fix is very much accurate and it is working very much fine so this is the igo maps that is a stock maps on the digipad and it is working fine and it has shown that the gps position was regained very much faster than it used to happen previously now now i'll just go ahead and open up the google maps and i'll show you how the gps hyper how the gps signal strength works in the google maps so as you can see the gps signal came up even before the maps loaded up so that shows the efficiency of which the gps map is gps test app is working and it has improved the gps signal strength accuracy and sometimes what happens is you get a blue circle around your dot so that shows that the gps signal is somewhere around in that area so but in this case you don't get a blue signal because the accurate position has been gained by the gps app and you know don't need an approximation of the area so that shows that the gps app which you which i have shown in this video is actually going to help you improve the gps signal improve the gps efficiency and whenever you are outside and you are in a spotty connection place and there is no network you will get a proper gps connection and if you get that it will help you navigate easily and come out to a proper highway or a proper road so that's it guys i think uh, this app you should go ahead go ahead and install it on your digipad this is going to be extremely useful and nobody else has brought it ever on the digipad and this is exclusively available only on travel tech channel and this app has taken a lot of effort and searching and planning to bring out in front of you guys so i hope you recognize that effort and please make sure you recognize that effort and subscribe to my channel and i just i already said most of the people who are watching my videos haven't subscribed to my channel they are just watching and gaining the information please support me and if any of my videos have helped you in your life in your car in your digipad just go and go away without subscribing and also like this video so that's it guys this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day